Hi guys, this is a 1995 uh, Nissan Altima with a 2.4 liter engine. This is a known good waveform. Um, I initially thought that I had recorded also the bad waveform uh, when I had a uh, when I had the vehicle uh, first in my hands diagnosing a faulty distributor, uh, but I did not save that bad waveform. You'll have to watch the other video to see the glitches that I did record with my video glasses. Uh, long story short, here is a known good waveform. The yellow is the uh, what I call the crank signal, or as Nissan calls it, the one degree uh, waveform signal. And the green is the 180 degree waveform signal. Although every 90 degrees of distributor rotation, a, a green signal or a waveform is produced. Uh, there are two signals. One of them... Uh, if you look at this here, if you just if it's it's just skewed off a little bit, but if you just move this over, it's maybe two degrees uh, wide. This cam signal again, I call it cam signal because uh, the way it functions, it makes sense to me that you've got uh, lots of one degree signals, which is similar to the crankshaft signal, um, and then you've got the staggered uh, single square waves here, which you'll see in a second, which I basically. Uh, uh, relate to the camshaft signal uh, so anyways I'm just gonna scroll forward here and you'll see and then I'm gonna scroll out and then you'll see better uh, the staggered signals actually let me just zoom out here sorry it makes it a little bit easier and faster to view uh, so you'll see there is a second one here yeah, I'm gonna try to catch more than one so here's this Here's a two degree window right here, the green, and here's another two degrees, so that's 90 degrees of uh, distributor rotation. Uh, let me just go one more zoom here, and so here's a staggered wider one, which is I believe six degrees. Uh, and then here you can see the other two of the other two cam signals. Um, let me go one more, 32, and now you'll see if I move this over a little bit you'll see there we go from here to here that's one full revolution of the distributor let me get the cursors in just to make it a little bit easier to see oops back so from let's start at the beginning of this one to the beginning of this one get rid of this guy so from here to here is one full revolution of the distributor and within that full revolution you have three uh, two degree windows uh, and you've got from here to here uh, 360 degrees or 361 degree pulses and you don't have to worry about syncing of these because they're on the same plate uh, I'll attach a picture in this video so you can see the, the, there's no way for these signals to become staggered. The only thing that can happen is a signal to be lost due to uh, internal electronics in the distributor, be it a transistor or whatnot, and that's what was happening in this vehicle. The one degree signal was dropping out, and that was causing issues, car stalling, not starting, and when you're cranking, sometimes it would want to crank and want to start, and you can hear it a distinctive uh, timing the timing being out because the signal was just uh, gibberish and the computer was having a hard time to determine when to fire the uh, uh, ignition coil long story short as always this is a good, known good waveform uh, file is in the description in the description for you to download and play with in shopstream connect yourself just like I am right now you can manipulate the uh, waveform up down each channel uh, and then you can also zoom in, obviously, and then see everything in more detail. Thanks again for watching. Till next time.